In this case, the suspect decided to shoot, and then he came and uh, actually at one point took his gun out the door and shot at the officers. As we don't have bloodstain patterns throughout the house showing that he's moving back and forth while he's shot and has been fired on. So what really happened during that deadly botched raid nine months ago on Harding Street? There are still many, many questions about this case. Did Dennis Tuttle, in fact, shoot at officers as they came into the house? Did he even fire a single shot? And were police officers hit by police officers? Tonight, a private forensic investigator is talking exclusively with Channel 2 investigator Mario Diaz after reviewing official records and securing his own evidence. These are all bullets and bullet fragments that we recovered from the scene. It's been over six months since forensic investigator Michael Maloney first stepped inside 7815 Harding Street. Hired by the families of Dennis Tuttle and Regina Nicholas, his mission, far from simple, discovering the truth. This was very surprising for a scene that had been um, already processed. Maloney is a decorated forensic investigator with nearly 30 years of experience. During his visit to the home in May, he reconstructed bullet trajectories and carefully examined the inside of the now infamous home where HPD narcotics officers carried out the deadly botched raid. 7815 I knew where he spent his final moments as he lay dying. And his teeth were still there. How do you come in and process a scene and leave part of the victim lying on the floor in a puddle of blood? After spending four days last spring focused on discovering the truth, Maloney is now talking. This one most likely drops him to the ground. Last week, Channel 2 Investigates traveled to Missouri to speak with Maloney in his first interview regarding his investigation and what it has produced thus far. Does the narrative, in your opinion, from what you've heard from HPD match up in any way? No, it doesn't. One of the biggest discoveries, the round Maloney says killed Regina Nicholas, also has the DNA of Dennis Tuttle on it. I was very surprised when it um, ended up having a minor contributor of Dennis Tuttle. I was also very pleased because it allows us to then position Dennis Tuttle at some point during the dynamic shooting event. The wound reveals not only where Tuttle was inside the home, but also the view an HPD officer had when he fired the shot. What we have to realize is that this bullet is fired from outside of the house. There's not a view inside of the house. Regina Nichols is shot blind. That means Tuttle was shot at least by that grazing wound across his forearm blind as well. They didn't see him. They didn't see him. Not for that shot. At the time of death, Tuttle weighed only 112 pounds. He had his right hand bandaged and a leg in a brace. However, HPD says he was still capable of hitting four trained officers after surprising him with a no-knock warrant. Have you discovered anything that shows you that Mr. Tuttle fired off a round? I have not discovered any evidence that he's fired off a round, nor has any evidence been made available to me that would indicate that he fired. As for friendly fire, it's important to know what HPD Chief R. Acevedo said hours after former narcotics officer Gerald Goines was charged with two counts of murder. I stand by our investigation, and I can tell you there is no evidence of friendly fire in this case. It's easy to say there's absolutely no indication of friendly fire. But for transparency's sake, when you have such a debacle at the doorway with shots raining in against the house that aren't being aimed at individuals but are just shooting a structure and everything else, you would think that rather than just state there is no evidence, we would see that evidence. You view this as a complete debacle? I, I believe I'm completely justified in viewing it as a debacle. Houston Police Chief R. Acevedo does not want to sit down with us for an interview at this time, telling to, excuse me, telling Channel 2 Investigates in a text, the department is not going to engage in public comment and jeopardize the pending criminal prosecution. As indicated, Michael Maloney is a decorated forensic expert with nearly 30 years of experience. And while he recently assisted prosecutors in the Amber Geiger wrongful shooting case in Dallas, he is working privately for the families in this matter. However, Dominique and Bill uh, Maloney has turned over key evidence he and his team recovered to the Harris County District Attorney's Office. All right. Thank you, Mario. I know you'll keep Mario. us posted. Right. Thank you.